and you can argue whether it's appropriate or not. I think his point with regard to the sex scandals isn't what Bill Clinton did. It's more what Hillary Clinton did and whether she really is a champion of women. Because the fact is, over the course of these years, she has gone after a number of women about allegations that, that turned out to be true. Let me put a few cases up. She called Monica Lewinsky a narcissistic looney tune. She said Jennifer Flowers was a gold digger. Here she is. You're some failed cabaret singer who uh, doesn't even have uh, much of a, a resume to fall back on. And last year, uh, Hillary Clinton at one point said that people who uh, say that they have been raped deserve to be believed. But then she was asked about Juanita Broderick, who in 1978 said that she was raped by Bill Clinton. I would say that everybody should be believed at first until they are disbelieved based on evidence. Fact is, Senator, Hillary Clinton does have a long record of going after her husband's accusers, at least some of whom were later vindicated. You know, Hillary Clinton may have defended her husband in various situations, but if we want to compare what she has done for women in her life, how she has worked, I mean, when the cameras weren't rolling, when no one was looking, after a law degree from one of the best schools in the country, she went to work for the Children's Defense Fund. She has said women's rights are human's rights when she was a uh, first lady, famously. She has lived a life of championing women's rights, uh, a, a sponsor of equal pay legislation in the Senate. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is telling hostesses at his golf clubs that they are, you know, telling the people they get, get them off the hostess decks, they're too fat. I mean, this is really not even a close comparison as who's championed women's rights in their life and who has not. Even you, uh, 